guys, welcome back to another rendition of Tell All Fridays. Yes, yes, yes. This Friday, let's just get into it. I'm going to give you um, a quick review of Harlem. And then I'm going to just uh, talk about a theme that I see that is going on on a lot of television shows. Um, and it has been a reoccurring topic on some of the African-American shows that have been mainstream going on lately that I've been watching. And I'm just kind of like, like, what's going on? Where's this trend coming from? And let's talk about it. And y'all know that I like to talk the talk and talk my talk because, hello, we are here. So, like I said, let's get straight into Harlem. Harlem is streamed on Amazon Prime. And last uh, week, it was Friday, Friday, or when, what, the third, whatever day it was, it started streaming, and, and that weekend, and I was like, you know, I wanted to come Monday and talk about it, but I needed time to process the whole show and to just be like, what, like, what happened? So Harlem, I would say, is streamed on, on, on Amazon Prime, like I said before, if you have not watched it, if you are underneath the rock and you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, go watch Harlem. Watch the whole damn series. Binge watch it. It is episode, uh, it's 10 episodes long. I think each episode is like 50 to an hour long. You could, you, you could do four and four, five and five, however you want to break it up for your lifestyle. But for me... We know that I binge watch a lot of shows on Netflix, a lot of shows on uh, different streaming um, platforms. So I did binge watch Harlem, and then I then I stopped on Sunday. And I actually started it with my mom. It was just like, oh, like, oh, let me let me uh, let's watch this together. Mad random. The first episode was a very like, Woo! right. So if you have children. Make sure your children is not around when you are watching this show. I think the show should be rated R or rated M for, ma um, for mature audiences, okay? It is not kid-friendly because in episode one, um, there is several uh, sex scenes that will give you an eye-opener. And when I say eye-opener, let me open up my eye, an eye-opener. And I was just like, but what the hell? So me and my mom, minding our business. You know, we talking shit. We watching the movie. What I'm saying about the movie. We watching the show. All of, all of a sudden, we see. I start talking. My brother start talking. Her mouth drop open. My mouth drop open. And we like, what the ass? Did you just? Yes, girl. And then like 10 minutes later, it's a whole nother sex scene. And we like, uh-uh. So, if you are not about that life, or I guess, adventurous, uh, don't watch Harlem. But Harlem was a good uh, series to watch. It reminded me of the black version of Sex in the City. And I really like that, because I like, you know, that togetherness camaraderie. Right? I think so. You know, you know, you know, sometimes when I'm up here, I can't, sometimes when I'm up here, I can't really get my, you know, my words together. Um, you know, it's about four girls, they're all friends, they go out, they organize their life. You you watch them in different in different settings of their life to make sure that you get to see what's going on with them. And if they and if they um for what they do, what they battle in life and work relationships and family and friends and you know, one girl, her mom is like her base like her, her number one critic. The other girl, she um she left her 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 first love and you know she trying to get her career together then the other girl she have her abs she trying to get you know the 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 buzz the buzz going on that one girl she she like she like the one friend who who had a career her, her career flop she trying to find herself and do what she need to do for her career and and stuff so you know it basically is like any other Brooklyn Brooklyn Harlem girl going around the city i just love the whole vibe of it it does, um, if you like Harlem, I would want to mention that you should watch Flatbush Misdemeanors that comes on Showtime, because that one is based in Brooklyn, Flatbush, and it has a Caribbean feel to it, and my cousin is the writer, and she stars in it. So, 
Therefore, go and watch her show as well. If you are loving up on Harlem, you you would definitely love Flatbush Miss Saminas. And she does shout out Westbury Court book book. I lived there on my life. So yes. If you are going to watch Harlem, y'all better go out and watch Flatbush Miss Saminas. But let's go back to the to, to the to the show, honey. So I had seen that, you know, my friend was like, oh, you know, I watch Sisters as well. She was like, did you see, did you see the, um, the scene where the guy told, um, Sabrina that, you know, sexually she does not do what he wants and that the reason why he was sleeping with Becky is because Becky is more open sexually to what he wants in, 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 in bed. And that's the reason why, um, you know, he was messing around with Becky, even though he likes Sabrina. And clearly, Becky was doing a whole bunch of kinky stuff. So my thing is, is kinkiness or is sexuality being over uh, over televised and television shows? Because basically, Harlem, the sex scene between the two gay girls was like, whoa. Then, then the guy that with Camille, with the young boy, he put his legs up in the air because he wanted her to eat his groceries. I'm like, What? This is crazy. So it's a whole bunch of craziness that was just like what and what. But I know, I know a lot of friends who do a lot of a lot of sexual things. I always tell people that my freak meter is not that high. It's like a five percent, but my five percent does carry me. Like my five percent will let me be, and you know, like a little bit of knowledgeable about a little bit of things. But that doesn't mean that I will do it. Now, I have heard that eating the groceries is a wonderful experience. I have not ate or had my eating. So, I cannot say, but I know a lot of people around me who be like, girl, you missing out. And I'm like, I don't know, because for me, it's not my thing. But that does not mean that I have not been offered the services. I just did not take them up on their services. Because I was like, if you're trying to give it to me, how many girls have you given it to? And is, and is your mouth clean? So then, like, my, like I go down a whole damn time. Jim, I had no business going down. So that's the reason why I never got it. You know, I said, okay, sir, you can't have mine. And you definitely ain't. Because I like kissing. I like kissing. I like the, the sensual act of kissing. If I can't kiss you, then I can't bully you. Plain and simple. And so my friend was like, would you ever, or would you be open to doing, uh, you know, things with your guy? And I feel like everybody in this, in, in, in behind closed doors, what you do with your partner is, your, is you and your partner's business. And if you choose to use uh, sex toys on your partner, that's, that's between you and him and how you want to, you know, if he wants to bend over, let him bend over. If he wants to bend over, you bend over. It's your business. What people do in their sex, in, 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 in their sex room is their business. But it's becoming more mainstream to basically put <laughs> stuff like that in t television shows and what they're doing, what they're not doing. So I want to know or want to ask y'all, what is y'all freak meter? Would you ever be like Sabrina who is contemplating having a relationship with Calvin? And she's also contemplating opening up herself sexually to do the things that he likes in the bedroom so therefore their relationship can flourish. Because some women be like, no is no. Or are you willing to open up to try different things to see if you might like it? Because, you know, you never you, you never know if you like something until you try it. So that's why I'm just over here like, I don't know. Y'all, the foolishness is real. But if y'all got to watch Sisters, because y'all have to see the interaction between Calvin and Sabrina. Then y'all got to see the interaction between Camille and the young boy, because Camille kicked his ass out. She was like, I ain't got time for that. Give me the long, deep stroke. Then me licking your okay and then with the two with the two lesbian girls they was over here getting in i was like is that how they really do it because i know that some lesbians use dildos and strap-ons and all type of stuff so i was like oh my god but you know to each their own i am i am very open sexually and then you know i'm you know my best friend my gubby my gub gub he hasn't been on the damn channel in a long time we need to get him back y'all He's been very busy. He's been very, very, very busy. We gotta talk to him. We gotta, we, we, we gotta guilt trip, guilt trip him back to the channel. But yes. So, what 
would you do or what you wouldn't do? Tell me in the comments because I really want to know. And I'm really interested in seeing how open we are because growing up, back in the day, sex was a taboo topic. And sex could, sex could still be a taboo topic because a lot of people are not open sexually or open to talk about sex because in some households, sex is not really an important thing because, you know, my mom never gave me a sex talk growing up. All she told me was don't come home pregnant. Now she begging for me to get pregnant. She said, oh, God, just, just go take the sperm and come home. So, in your household or how you grew up, was sex and topic? Were you taught about it? Or did you have to learn from your friends? Did you read up on it? Like, what was your introduction to sex? Was it television? Was it TV? Because now we know that the TV now and nowadays are being very more enhanced. And they're showing same-sex couples more on the televisions. Is this programming or is this, like, what do you feel? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this conversation because I was over here like, y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. All of that. All of that. All of that. But this is Tell All Fridays. I'm here. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.